Nick speaking and welcome to another update from my Terrain Square project. Uh, first of all, well done everyone. I've been watching all of your videos and um, some awesome, awesome projects out there. Uh, some of the thought and the design and stuff behind them. Just, just amazing. I'm really, really enjoying your videos. Hopefully everyone else is enjoying your videos too. Uh, so keep up the good work and um, as I said, aim to finish your project by the end of March. And uh, we've got two prizes on offer, a personal one from myself, which will be second prize. And first prize is that most awesome um, prize that we've got, uh, which has been donated by the Terrain Tutor. Link in the description below. Don't forget to go and check his channel out. I'm just giving away that master basing kit, Gale Force 9, and like a billion um, grass bags. <laughs> now, I think it's 17 grass bags altogether. Uh, but it's, it's an awesome prize, so... Um, yeah, keep up the good work. Okay, so what I've done is I've base coated my uh, little power stations, McDonald toys, which um, obviously I've converted up. So they're all base coated now, so starting to look a little bit more necrony. I think once I've painted those um, in the silver colours and stuff, it should hopefully um, no longer be recognisable as a McDonald's toy. <laughs> um, and then going back to the actual building itself, I've now done this section on the side. Um, what I've done is I've angled it so that it goes upwards to match in with the rest of my buildings uh, that I've got. I did paint this inside before I uh, glued it on because otherwise it's going to be almost impossible to, to get in there. And then working on the inside, <coughs> I've uh, made up those plates that I was talking about. So obviously the pie, the, the, um, power arc things are going to be, you know, they, they're magnetised already on those four squares. Uh, but what I've done is I've made up these pieces of terrain, um, which are basically made on a piece of board with some magnets. Uh, so if you want to, you can have some variety of this piece of terrain. The one that's going to be here um, is going to be permanently there because of the shelf, which is there, like the second tier. So I don't really want to be moving that around, but I magnetise it anyway, just because I can, um, because it's going to be easier to paint. So that's why you've got magnets there, but no standing piece. But yeah, potentially you could take out the... Um, little power arcs and put those in its place and I've tried to make this terrain uh, totally multi-purpose so I'll show you what I've done um, I'm going to need to just pick the camera up here okay so uh, this section here which comes off as you can see I've got this little uh, cut out here and the reason why I've done that is because I want it to match here so that's obviously the front um, so I'm figuring that you're gonna should have those on the three corners uh, edges. So that's what that represents, and I've actually put a magnet on it, and I put a magnet in here, and that if I can get it in the right position, there you go, magnetizes on there. So now that looks like basically one of those. And I've done exactly the same with this one. So that uh, magnetizes onto there. So now it looks a little bit more realistic with the rubble on the outside. And then this one, I've put a magnet in, um, and this one magnetises onto there, like that. Now, once I've done that, I thought I'd take it one step further. So, in actual fact, what I've done, turn this round, is on this side, I made up another couple of bits as well. So, um, I've got this one which magnetises onto there, and then this one uh, which magnetises onto there, which is quite nice because I wanted a bit of rubble on that corner section anyway. Uh, so having that sort of magnetised there just is perfect. So that is um, that's how it's looking now. So it's it's turning into a quite a nice piece of terrain. Um, obviously, um, like I said in the previous video, these that bits of rubble I've had to make quite flat because um, I actually want my my mini to stand on there. So. You know that's why I've made them in these sort of levels. So there's no like, angled bits; they're all flat, uh, so that I can obviously walk the minis on there without a problem. So yeah, I'm really guessing there now. Uh, next up, I need to do some rubble um, all around the or in the board, um, and also on the shelf. I won't uh, glue the shelf in um, until I've got it painted, basically, because it will make it a lot easier. Um, and then once I've done that, I just have a few more details to go. I'm going to start putting some of this uh, glyph, glyph um, stuff um, on a few bits of these rubble, so it indicates that it's got, um, <clears throat> you know, that there was glyph on the walls. 
I'm going to do a few little bits here and here and also one round the other side and just on here so it sort of matches up with that side of the wall so like that and that's it so yeah really getting there uh, hopefully you like it um, probably the next video I will have this built uh, ready for painting okay thanks for watching